Dauseb stressed the importance of including men and boys in the conversation about gender-based violence. She urged men to actively listen, educate themselves, challenge harmful beliefs, and support survivors and affected communities. Men are not just bystanders in this fight. They are integral allies, Joshua, in creating a society free from violence and discrimination. Men, by challenging harmful gender norms and promoting healthy masculinity, can help dismantle the underlying attitudes that perpetuate violence against women and marginalized genders. It is incumbent upon men to actively listen, learn, and unlearn, and to stand up as allies to survivors, advocates, and communities affected by gender-based violence. Dauseb noted that while there are cases of women killing men in intimate relationships, similar concern should be shown, while also recognizing that gender-based violence predominantly impacts women and children, especially in recent years. Gender equality practitioner Ngamane Karwaihe Upi claims that their country has not prioritized program or resources allocated to address gender-based violence issues. Karaihe Upi expressed concerns about the lack of support for victims and survivors, pointing out that the absence of structured programs or projects in the national budget aimed at improving how men and women relate to each other in relationships has contributed to this issue. People who report their cases to the police are not directed or encouraged to seek counseling. People are left to their own vices. The money allocated to GBV is a drop in the ocean of money that goes to that ministry. That needs to change. The education of men and women, the education of boys and girls on what are healthy relationships is absent. We expect results where we are not doing the work. In addition, Dauseb emphasized that despite the rising numbers of gender-based violence cases, it is crucial for people to persist with the comprehensive strategy to combat gender-based violence overall, particularly focusing on domestic violence.